the best version of the bootleg version is the Hi everyone, back again to our channel, Oscar Kevin channel. This is the review of bootleg version versus the original version of Masterless Extra Fujito. And actually, I have the three version of the bootleg, so stay tuned. Okay, first of all, it came in a, just a simple art box copying from the original, but there are slightly different look or maybe the words on the box so yeah it's not really good quality of the box and they don't really have blister inside so it just came in like this package with plastic like this so it's actually quite uh, risky to distribute this overseas uh, let's see about the quality of the bootleg version so the original is incomparable <laughs> but seriously the quality is good but this one as well is quite a good quality for the bootleg especially the price gap is huge maybe you can consider it as a collection before that let's compare them okay first the scale or the size usually bootleg version is slightly smaller than the original one but unlike this one the original is smaller way smaller than the bootleg version original version is slightly smaller than the masterlized or msp the bootleg version scale is uh, slightly bigger than masterlized and slightly smaller than grandista for this one, as you can see here, the original version is slightly bigger and the bootleg version is slightly smaller. Or if you guys want me to compare it with the blue version as well, so let's open it. There we go, the bootleg version. For this one, actually it don't came with a foot base. So this one is my original foot base and I customized the Masterlized Extra Vegito into Boo over here, Boo Han. I can use this as a foot base for the bootleg version, quite useful. So we can compare it apple to apple. Hopefully you can see it that the quality of the bootleg version is actually quite good for a bootleg version but the hair here often they have gap between joint of the hair, some mist paint over here it's quite bad but again for the price that we pay it's quite a good deal for the color quite the same but again some part in the bootleg version the color is quite glossy but surprisingly the color for the outfit is not that glossy but the shading is not as good as the original one and the other problem that i have here i found some issues on the super saiyajin version so many issues first of all as you can see here the quality of the leg is quite so bad it's actually hollow but it's quite thick but inside is totally hollow as you can see here for this original one in japan it's around 10 to 15 thousand yen probably and in indonesia it's around uh, 1 million rupiah something it's fairly the same but for the bootleg version price is only 15 bucks it's very affordable yeah again the quality isn't as good the scale or the size is pretty much different slightly smaller as you can see here let's compare it back to the super saiyan blue version but if we put it like this i mean using the um foot base from the original version it looks the same especially if you just see it from a photo or video but if you take a look at it closely or especially if you compare them side by side then the difference is so obvious if you just see it like this wow it looks original right in summary i don't really collect a uh, bootleg but for my first collection it was a gift from my wife and it was all bootleg but after that i bought uh, mostly the original and i only bought the but like only for comparing with the original so i make sure that i have the original one then i buy the bootleg version because uh, i don't really want to support counterfeit but i believe if i have the original one it's okay for me to buy the bootleg version so if you don't have problem collecting bootleg it's very affordable and it's quite good for the quality of a bootleg it's quite good it's not the best especially if you compare it to the original one it's the gap is so wide <laughs> but if you don't mind it, don't really care about the scale. So if you have the Masterlized Gogeta uh, original and you can afford this Masterlized Extra Vegito original one, then this one is highly recommended. But please make sure that you know you have the original one as well. But you know, it, it's all back to our personal preference and our budget. So it's all your call, it's not mine. <laughs> so yeah, I think that's about it. So I'm gonna give the close-up shot for this too. There we go.
Okay, before we're closing in, in my opinion, the best version of the bootleg version is the Super Saiyan Blue or Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan. Uh, while the rest is not as good as this one because like this uh, base form version, the color is quite glossy here. Oh, it's it's not it's not good. So many mispainted color like everywhere here and there. There's something miss here especially on his left eye. The other thing is that the Super Saiyan version eyes color is incorrect. It should have been green instead of black. So we need to recoloring it or repaint it into the correct one, which is a big deal for us. <laughs> but yeah, I might be considering to uh, keep them as a collection, but you know, we'll see because original is always better. Trust me. If you love perfection, well, not all of the original is always perfect as well, but it's better than the bootleg. So if you have budget, I suggest you to keep collecting the original ones. But if you're short on budget or you're on a budget, then this bootleg version is a good consideration. Again, thank you for watching and I'll see you guys again.